Hey everybody, welcome back. We've been a little up and down, but uh, doing better. And hey, another thing worth noting. Sure. You know what? Sure. Sure. Just take me. Bird me. Bird me. No bird me. Bird me. No bird me. Okay, take a seahorse. Maybe we can kill some uh, frog or something like that that the enemy has. You never know. Um, oh, let me be a you insolent pencil. Uh, it just sounds like a good comeback. Jane, you insolent pencil. Anyway, what was I talking about? I don't really remember. However, hold on. We win this. You want to talk about clutch? We've been up and down on the game in terms of our performance, but no birds, huh? The important thing, in my opinion, is that we've been making more videos. <laughs> That just seems like a that's more positive than anything else to me. So I think, weirdly enough, you have to be here. Are we really giving somebody a strawberry? I'd rather roll and then just say, you know what? This raises our chance of getting a level. That would have been unfathomable for me to spend three gold and not get any duplicate animals. So I'm, I'm probably, definitely, probably going to lose this one. And I'm okay with that. Their team is just better than mine. We didn't have the dream shop. Like, we usually want to buy a food and spend a, instead of spending three gold re-rolling, but still feel okay about our team. You know what? I, I like an early Okapi, and I'm tired of pretending I don't. As a 3-4, I respect you. I may not like you. I may not respect you. But you insolent pencil... I'll be darned if I don't respect you. Okay, move you up front, get owned. This seems like we definitely still lose, but at least it gave us a glimmer of hope that we could win. I mean, we were, like, mighty close there. Now, the Okapi is risky, but it can do something. Two koalas and a yak is also an interesting way to live your life. I'm not going to invest anything into our iguana. I will buy one, but I'm not going to invest in the foods. I think this is like a this is a straight up simple okapi play. I think you freeze everything and it's that'll that'll probably drive you crazy, but excess gold, we have 3 excess gold. Drake? Okay, how about one of those. We don't need to freeze everything. 6 7 and a 5 8 with a little iguana kicker, an LA face with a Oakland booty. Haters will say it's fake. This is like Actually, the perfect team for us to go up against. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say that this was all skill. Give it a 2-2. Two, two. Would you sell an Okapi to try this? I think it's just crazy enough to work. You're just, you're just good. And now we don't need to invest in uh, rerolls anymore. We'll not buy you because we can't. Well, sure, I'll keep you around. We're not doing Capybara build anymore. Is this team good or am I stupid? It, both of those could be true, but I think it's more likely that, well, one of them is false. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> we lose to Garlic. We don't have anything that does any uh, attacks. So that's, that's a problem for us. Maybe this team is mid. Where are we at? Five, maybe? Four? At least we're not on lethal. That's the important part. I think you take this. I think you take this. I think you look at what you want to get here. You think about it. We don't see anything that appeals to me all that much. You should take the HP. You should take the HP. It's the worst anteater of all time. But I'm okay with that. Hold on. This is important. There's a level up coming. I still don't see the pug doing it for us. I would say we have no, um, so I, I, it is funny to say this given that like seconds ago I said like maybe this team's actually good. Um, but as of right now, I think we have like no, um, recourse to possibly win. That being said, we do draw. No, nerfed badger screwed me. Holy cow. Okay. Take one of these. We need to figure out how we're going to get out of the jam. Now, the likely answer is that we're not going to get out of the jam. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. Why don't you do double damage once and then also take some more HP and then... I don't know, man. Um, 
this is not a good team. Remember when I said, is this a good team? You should have just lied to me. Now, there are some positives. We're going to blow out this sheep. We're going to beat this team, actually. That in and of itself feels great. We might be able to get to like four or five if we get a little lucky. Um, I kind of can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm selling an anteater to buy a crow, to sell a crow, to level up our clownfish in the hopes that maybe that provides us with a scaling factor. Seems a little ambitious. I guess we do want to keep buying pill bugs. It, any useful items in the chat? No? Okay. In this case, rather, I mean, I guess, you know what? I guess you buy a pill bug. I guess you put one one on your on your step one pill bug, and then, you know, you got a four squad. Maybe you die. Uh, we're dead. This is this team is too good for us. Yes. Full stop. But the problem was not running four. The problem was that our team had no identity. Now, this team, on the other hand, this team can frick. This team, this team fricks. Okay, cockroach bird. Yeah, yeah. It, it, we got to think about it. No, because we don't want the kiwi to take the cockroach bonuses. Or the, the, we don't want the kiwi to give the cockroach bonuses. Let me be a jolly crook. Orange crook. Let's not even get into that. Jolly crooks makes me think of Home Alone. Okay, it's the worst team I've ever seen. They're probably playing their first game. I'm choosing not to punch down. Let's do this instead, roll once, and then focus your buff on the seahorse. I think it, it's finally crystallized for me that the seahorse is actually probably the pack two unit at level one, most likely to scale well into the late game, which is a weird thing to say because it doesn't really scale at all. But shuffling your opponent's order around can often provide a disproportionate benefit. Now hear me out. Sell me. Sell me. Now this is where it gets weird. Can we not get a level off of this? We can, right? We need to sell one more thing. I'm crazy. One thing you got to know about me, I'm crazy. Um, okay. I guess we will. There is a seahorse in there. What are you doing? What am I doing? Am I insane? Am I the best to ever do it? Is this Okapi going to carry me? I don't think so. <laughs> but maybe? Maybe? I sold an iguana to make guinea pigs attempt to work. I guess guinea pig is now like... You'd be hoping to get, like, a uh, jellyfish or something. And then you, your guinea pigs could actually pop or something. But anyway. Um, sure. I mean, this is a strange way to play it, maybe. But let's do it. Don't forget, you need re-rolls for the Okapi to do anything. There's my jellyfish, but it's, it, I'm not interested. I think we do want you. This is stupid and crazy. And you know what? That's what life is like sometimes. We can get a level three guinea pig next turn. I don't know what we're looking to get out of that. I oh, the turtle at the back would have been so much better. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's the, the long and short of it. Um, but I, I think as soon as I took guinea pig, this run slipped into like experimental territory. And I think that's okay. Okay. We're going to give up on the strawberry. Because that allows us to then buy this. I guess we could have just put it right there. We didn't even have to sell the thing earlier. Platypus buy sell build? What? We don't even have like a starfisher. I mean, it's it, you always want to buy and sell a platypus if you have two space available. But like... Is it possible this gives us enough of a head start on our eel? If things go right to feel good about it? Okay. I suppose in theory it was at least possible. Um, I think if we're going to do anything here, you need the eel to pop. So as much as I don't like to run a four squad, that is a lie. I love running it. Sometimes it just feels like the best play available. When you look at the options presented to you. What a strange situation we have here. What a long, strange trip it's been. We definitely die to the horse and have nothing left for the otter. But I feel like this eel can... 
we, we got it early enough, it could have a chance to get there. But first, we're going to buy one of these. Roll ya. Roll ya. Roll ya. Okay, we're probably going to stop you right there and just give the eel a little bit more HP. Now, there is a part of me that says, you know, next turn, if we have to go, for, like, if we're all in, what do you do? You sell the gerbil, I mean, the guinea pig, and then you have 10 extra or three extra gold. My brain is, like, not functioning. <laughs> but we won anyway? Okay, holy cow. This team has no late game factor at all, though. But, hold on, there's a level. You're kind of like a Bacta, but I'm not interested. We're not really on a buy-sell build here. I do think the Hawk is, is good enough, but I guess I'm looking for something that doesn't exist. I'm continuously rolling, looking for something that doesn't exist. We're adding a Crow to the team, um, and we, we need this. This allows us to easily get... Relatively easily get a level 2 eel, which I feel like has some serious scaling power. Camel is buffing the rabbit. That's probably very good for us. I'm as surprised as anybody else, by the way, that, like, we've pulled ourselves out of badness into mediocrity. I guess we were just lucky it happened early enough. It's like, buy me, sell me, buy me. You would be a 9-9. Nine -nine. I feel like that's like more than good enough. And you're going to be a 720. Nothing wrong with that, man. You've got how many triggers? Three triggers left this turn. I'm going to keep you for now. You're basically, the, the guinea pig right now is just a piggy bank. A guinea piggy bank. I'd like to solve the puzzle. The map is perfect. Look at this. Mm, I don't know. That peacock is going to be a little strong. It's not going to be that strong. It's not going to be that strong. Anytime we want to pivot, we sell it for three gold, and then we get something else going on. Now, what is it? I, what, what do we get? I don't know yet. You know, you can't take any of the, the bigger units. We know that for a fact. Is it the time? Maybe it's the right time. Maybe we sell. Maybe we buy. You can't take units that are more tanky or the higher tier than the lion, or equal for that matter. You could probably take a green pepper. Lower tier units. Another lion. I mean, I, I would feel okay rolling another lion. I guess we wouldn't mind trying to get a level 3 Okapi if it presents itself. Ah, but if you take two lions, they'll, they'll collude and damage each other. They won't... Neither of them will function, I think. So... With three gold here, believe it or not, and I, I kind of wish that I'd realized that before things became so prickly, but I think you just buy the, the scaling factors, and we run a four squad. I'm not sure how to feel about a microbe here. I feel like as long as their microbe is in front of their octopus, we're in trouble. Never mind, we're totally fine. Our eel is insane. That's seven. I never would have thought this was possible. A little desync error for you. Okay, roll me. I, this time, yet again, to be honest with you. I mean, if we're not on lethal, forget the rolls. Buy me some HP. Obviously, I hope some of that would hit the eel, but whatever. I'm not running a four squad as like some kind of sick joke, okay? I'm running a four squad because I think it's the right thing to do. Now, this, they blew us out on this one. That's fine. We're going to start to face some serious competition. 4-4 four, four for 2. I embrace it. Thank you. I love that for me. Now give me an orange. Now admittedly, our Okapi kind of sucks right now. We haven't gotten it any rolls. We can take another eel, or we could add a platypus to the squad. I guess we'd rather take another eel in the whole scheme of things. And then you should probably move up maybe to the very front. Um... I don't think we're going to go much further, but I'm really surprised how well this went, given the circumstances. I don't think we can beat a 34-34 unit, whether it's at the front or the back. That went very well. We just don't have the gas to kill the puppy. And that's fine. 
I, I can embrace that, you know, we did our best there. It went better than the run that you would think is more like traditionally good, which is bizarre. Double seahorse. I love a pill bug, man. I, I do. I'm sorry to say it. I don't care who hears it. I love a pill bug. Maybe a square beam. Metal beam is also good. Something about a square beam. I don't know. It just... I feel like I'm being sponsored, you know, to host a podcast or something. This episode was brought to you by Square Beams. Go ahead. I don't think a Kiwi is as good as I'm giving it credit for, but but here we are. Um, we want to buff like thusly. That This is the buff. So this is a strawberry team through and through. One bird is maybe a little bit ambitious for a strawberry team, but in its heart, you know it and I know it. This is a strawberry team, and we do lose, which I'm a little surprised by. Holy cow, they had a level two Kiwi. It's a lot of Kiwis, man. That's fine. Your level two Kiwi, my level two pill bug, we are not the same. I can't, I refuse to. I, I still refuse to. Sell me, buy me. I don't mind running this. I don't see, wow, you know, a yak with a pill bug? There's something to it. I don't know if there's enough. Now I will say, hold on. I think we immediately take advantage of this to go salamander. Because the salamander with two enablers, like that just seems like it's, it's more than I could ever ask for. I love that their ant has moved to the back. Thank you so much for this act of charity. Now I'm starting to see this team in front of us and I'm, I'm happy. Like do this. You're not a start of battle. That's okay. I don't cry. Buy me. Buy me. Buy me. Do we care about swamping stats? We actually probably do because we want to make sure the salamander and the seahorse get HP. So we actually just do that. Never mind. <laughs> You're a start of battle though. I think this is actually, like, we at least have a line. I know I say this every time, and it's usually, uh, it means that the run is about to go sideways. But not everything sideways is bad. Like, for example, the movie Sideways, Alexander Payne, Sandra Oh, Virginia Madsen, Thomas Hayden Church. Great movie. Do this. I love that for me. Now we want to see more, we want to see more salamanders, more start of battles. We want to see more lollipops. She let me lick the wrapper, allegedly. Start of battle. Yeah, okay, hold on. You got a five. Yeah, I, li I like you for the start of battle effect here. I think this should work out for us. I don't think we need to use a lollipop just yet. We could probably wait a couple of rounds. Gold is at a bit of a premium. Hmm. Shuffle me. Just shuffle, just shuffle, just shuffle me a little bit. That's all I ask. I think we're fine. I think we're more than fine. I think this team can do it. That's three wins as is. Level two Salamander, unbelievable. At this point, I, I have to click a prompt that says Adobe Creative Cloud has an update available, but I don't want to click the end turn button in my game. Ah, uh, okay, I'm probably fine. I'm, don't even sweat it. How about a buy me? I mean, a sell me? How about a buy me, just because I know what you're you're good for here. And then honestly, rather than get the two damage, I think this is a great sell lollipop opportunity. So you're going to be an 818. We'll probably end up buying another lollipop later, but for now, like this, I think this is pretty good. Now, the other thing that's pretty good, unfortunately, is the enemy team. But actually, now that I'm looking at it, dude, if you can beat a dolphin dog kangaroo team, you're well on your way. I'm feeling more optimistic. You know what else I'm feeling? I'm feeling that this is a start of battle effect. I'm feeling that this is a start of battle effect that's good. I'm feeling like the pill bug could be sold at this point. I've enjoyed having it on the squad, but I think you're the weakest link now. The bird is probably not far behind. Honestly, more important to get the eel popping, in my opinion. Now, if you're going to run a four squad, 
Four strong units, well, two strong units on turn whatever we're on seems pretty solid. You made your squirrel strong for no reason. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Okay, level two salamander is like, it's the, the, the YouTube title. It's a dog on steroids. Here you go. I need some start of battles, please. I will buy you just because you exist. Start of battle effects, please. Honestly, I would love to just buy you because you're going to buff our eel something fierce. And we could then sell the bird next turn and keep that going. Holy cow, you're a start of battle. You're a start of battle. Okay, that was a little bit of a holding pattern for us. But... Ah! It's okay. It's actually fine. We, we have a, a play to get this eel a lot of HP. Some ill-gotten gains, and I'm very happy with it. This team is going gangbusters, man. That's six. <clears throat> well, you, you still, even though you just sucked up the buff, you gotta go. You're a start of battle. Huge. Oh, hold on. I'll, I'll be back in one moment. Okay, we're back. This episode dedicated to the OBS pause function. We're going to buff the salamander a little further. We're going to take a second orangutan. Even if we only run them for like one round, I think this is sort of like an unbelievable value. I also think a salamander with a grape makes a lot of sense because the only food we're likely to give it is lollipops, you piece of crap. It's okay. One more, ran one more round with the orangutans and, and then this eel is going to the moon, man. Please. Please. We actually, I can't believe it. We're still here. We need start of battles. I, I'm kind of like willing to sell a seahorse to make this happen. Does that sound crazy? Because that would give us 8 HP on our eel, dude. No, it would probably go to our freaking lion because the eel's cucumber would pop. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I don't I don't feel like we can take turns off here. I think you accept that you know you you have to honor the salamander, okay? You have to. It's just the way the game is played. Just make sure if you buy something it has less HP or it has more HP than your eel. Now, no matter what, okay, I'm not buying anything else, although we do have a start of battle for next time. I am going to simply give stew. It didn't hit our eel. That's okay, because we're about to get one plus four. Now, I would have loved to have gotten the eight, okay? I would have. But that would have also, and you, people will be disingenuous, they won't recall this, it would have nerfed our salamander to do that. That's horrible news. It's horrendous news. Okay, we finally are, are joking around. This finally cost us a heart, and now I'm not having fun anymore. It's time to turn on the jets. This is just an acceptable buy-sell in my world. You're welcome to the team. Buy me. Sell me. Roll me. You give enough of a buff, like you give an 11-11 buff, that I'm not worried about the orangutan effect. And I think, even though you would get 50% more health out of this, I feel like our salamander possibly living through one extra turn is the only thing that matters. So you, you give the salamander, it's a huge overbuff on attack, but to give you a little extra support on, on HP seems well worth it. We're gonna screw up their shark. I think we're gonna, I think we're killing them because their buffalo, the melon armor, it does nothing. Now, the orangutan is buffing itself, which means it could probably go. Sell me? No, it's buffing the stegosaurus still. But we need space. We could get rid of the seahorse. No, we can't. The seahorse is so... Why am I... I'm talking like Gollum. Okay, it's, it, but it's so important. This is an incredible buy-sell. And then you come out here. We get an orca. You could totally just put that on the team and not cry. No one else has a start of battle. You would buff yourself. You have a, a admittedly kind of a cool effect. Don't get me wrong. You know what? As, as cool as an orca is, 
I genuinely feel like a donkey can sort of get the job done. Now, because you get plus 100%, I'm going to give you this. I know how this sounds, but I, I think a donkey and a seahorse means that their weakest or their, their last units will all get pushed to the front. Which seems like it could totally screw up someone's game plan. I don't know if that's what's happening here. I don't know if many people are saying that I'm the worst to ever do it and that an orca would have easily won us that, but this is where we are right now, okay? Now, we don't have start of battles. You should get swapped over and then probably take the support here. Start of battles. No start of battles. Hold on. I think I'm going to... I'll go on sabbatical again in just a moment. I hear our gate opening up. I told you. One second. Okay, seven gold, eight wins, three lives. It's an interesting situation. Now, I'm enjoying the fact that you have a cucumber, but I think a green pepper could also help you out a lot. Three pets getting to attack. Or somebody... You know what? I think maybe it's more fun to have a tier six that spawns a tier six. I think this team can get to 9. Can it get to 10? I don't know. But I think it can get to 9. Screw up their order. Screw it up. Screw it up. It's still screwed up. Now, this is a big moment for us. You spit out something that did an extra attack. Did that change anything? No, we lost anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'll set a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya.